Hi Aries and welcome to your reading. This is from uh, August 29th to September 6th, 2020. I hope that you're all doing well, Aries. So uh, for some of you that do not know this, or maybe some of you do, I've been taking some time off, especially since July, the end of July to like all the, from the new moon uh, in uh, Cancer to the, you know, the eclipse, uh, solar eclipse that we had in Aquarius and the Lion's Gate uh, on the 8th, 8th and all the energies and everything. Uh, I, it was time for me to rest and take some self-care and self-love. And that's exactly what I did. And I hope that you all of you do that too. If you have a chance to rest and it's time to rest and that you should do that for yourselves. So I want to thank everybody here for all the love and support as well. My mom sends you her love and she continues to pray for you. If there is a special request that you would like, put it underneath the video as I read, uh, I translate the, the, the messages that are coming in and there's something specific that you want to pray about. Uh, that you need help with just uh, write it down in the comments and i will transfer that to my mom so again thank you for all the love and support especially for those of you in my community as well and those of you on youtube thank you for letting me share my gift with you i've been channeling since i was a young child and uh in this time where i had to take some time off usually i'm the light i shine the light to everybody in the uh, in my community or in the world and everybody's been coming to me to uh give me that strength and so i want to thank everybody for all the beautiful messages that you've been sending me uh through all the social medias and uh, thank you for checking up on me it really means the world and uh so i just want to say that there's uh, there's a game that I'm, i want to play it's just a, a game um so how this works this game is that uh right now i'm what i'm doing different on my youtube channel is i'm uh, doing the readings by elements okay so day one the element is earth day two element it's water day three it's air day four it's fire your sign so if you are wanting to go first in the readings okay uh you and aries leo and sagittarius have to like the video the most share the video the most um and view the video the most and at the end of the week i will put the one who comes first and the winner in that what they get is one extra reading so let's say next week you know aries your element fire comes first so aries leo and sagittarius will get an extra reading uh like a mini reading during the week on my youtube channel okay just for you so how that's how it works and i hope that it's to create a bit more fun okay and uh another thing is uh yeah so underneath the video you will notice a link for my crystals at 10 percent off um, if you want to go, there's my name and then uh, there's a beautiful website there that you could choose from crystals. If there's a crystal that you want, but you don't see it, all you have to do is write to my Soul Tribe family and they will take care of you. Underneath the video, you will see the weekly schedule. Of course, you're also going to see, if you want to follow me on Facebook, it's Patrizia Luna for inspirational posts. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Patrizia1111. I do have inspirational posts and I, can't, I come on randomly by surprise and I give free mini readings, okay? And for any other information, you could contact me on my email. If you need a reader, a healer, uh, a dowser, okay? A shaman that douses your energy. Uh, usually I do this, but I'm not available at this time. So I do have a Soul Tribe family. And I have more people in my Soul Tribe family now. So that I can give you more information. All you have to do is ask for it. And I could lend, uh, I could give you all the information. Now, there's many ways in how to to uh, to uh, support my channel okay, or me is to subscribe, of course, and like, share, comment, and also watching the videos fully and um, watching the ads. For those of you that are watching the ads already, thank you so much. You've been helping me so much to stay strong on the placement here on YouTube. Again, thank you all very much for your love, for your support. Hashtag Aries Nation. You know I love you all guys very much. And so now let's get started with your reading. What I have in front of me is the singing bowl. And the reason why I use this is to clear my energy and space, and I will do the same thing for you. Uh, what I also want to do is send intentions of blessing and abundance for you. And at the same time, if there's something that you need to remove within yourself, when I bring the bell, just take a deep breath in and then exhale to Mother Gaia. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, perfect. 
Now let's get together and look at the angel cards. I'm gonna shuffle, I already shuffled them, but I'm just gonna shuffle them one more time. And this is for Aries from August 29th to September 6th and see what's going on, okay? Normally I would shuffle offline, but now I'm gonna be shuffling online. Uh, I think it's better this way. It's uh, that you can see that the cards are falling out for those of you that are skeptic, <laughs> you know, um, so. Let me take out a Archangel Raphael card. This is for Aries. Oh, that was quick. Then I'm going to take a card from the Sacred Drama, uh, Sacred Soulmates, and see here. This is for Aries. What is this? What is the message for Aries? Okay. And also your affirmation card. So Aries, how have you been doing? I hope that you're doing well. Please let me know how you're doing in the comments. I hope that you're doing all great. You know, Mars is going in retrograde very soon. <laughs> um, in, uh, I think it's September, if I'm not mistaken, it's September 9th, it's going retrograde. It's going to be better for the energy when it slows down a bit. Because right now everything is so like fiery. And let's uh, take also a universe universe card. What does the universe want to tell you? Oh, you got two cards for affirmation. Okay, I didn't notice that, but we're going to take both. And let's see what the universe wants to tell you. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now, let's look at your affirmations. You got two of them. First one you got is a grief grief and it says here i understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it so losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it and the next one you got is purpose and it says here i know what i am here to do i know what i'm here to do very nice now let's see what the and the angels are telling you the solar plexus chakra solar plexus chakra it says here, it is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. Some of you, it, uh, I also feel your solar plexus is being activated. And uh, so I, that's very good. Or standing in your power, right? And uh, Archangel Raphael is saying justice. That's very good uh, here too. It says your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. So justice is on your side. Things are going to be in balance. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Libra. Maybe that's a message for some of you there. Or something in uh, September, October of 2020. And uh, in your Romance Angels, you got stay optimistic about your love life. Stay optimistic about your love life. It says your positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And um, from the Sacred Dra uh, Soulmates, you got Detours. Okay, so uh, divine intervention, delays, and detours. So I write, I write down some of you, there's divine intervention that took place. Some type of delays or detours is taking place in your life. And what does the universe want to tell you? Okay, so you got two cards for that. It says, give yourself much more credit, Aries. Give yourself much more credit. And I'm going to read to you what it says here behind. Okay, let me put my reading glasses. I can't wait to, ch I'm changing my reading glasses because they're not strong enough uh, so it says, oh, a stranger than str a stranger than strange preponderance to ponder. Those in great relationships aren't always those who are good at relationships. And those in challenging relationships aren't always those who are bad at relationships. Oh, see, wow. Even though I use preponderance, this one is really good. Please ponder. So give yourself much more credit. Okay. And the next one you got is that you have more options. That you have options is meaningful. Rock on. That you have options is meaningful. Rock on. And your message behind it says, if I could just make two wishes, I'd wish I could somehow convey to you the profound depths of my gratitude for every moment of your life. I also wish that you could somehow know of your unimaginable importance, just as you are now to the lives of so very many. And of course, I wish for even more wishes. You're, you were such a good idea, the universe. So that you have options as meaningful and rock on. Perfect. So now let's get started with your reading. Let me take my cards out. 
I'm gonna see which cards to use. I'll use these cards for you. So now we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you where you are right now. Uh, what's the challenge or what's opposing you? What a spirit wants you to focus on? Your recent past, what's above you? What's coming towards you? Uh, what you are going through, your external influences, your hopes and dreams or fears, uh, and uh, possible future. And I will clarify the cards for you, okay? I will clarify the cards. And then at the end of the reading, I do have the sacred geometry that I want uh, that I brought back, which is so important. I also uh, also another thing is your animal totem, and I do have I do have two new decks that I want to share oracle cards with you. One is for activations. Uh, there's an activation that takes place when you look at the card, okay? And I read whatever that I have to read for you. And then there's also another oracle card that I want to bring in. Uh, that is i really really love and i want to share that with you as well with plus your crystal card as well okay so let's get started with you okay got the cards in three and let's get started with your reading Oof. okay Okay, overall energy, you got the Seven of Wands. This is a good card. The Seven of Wands talks about you have already risen above a situation. Maybe it doesn't feel like you've risen. I feel there's some type of completion here for you, my beautiful Aries, okay? But maybe you don't feel that you have done the completion, but you have risen above a situation. For others of you, it's the universe coming in and tell you, say, you are going to rise above the situation whatever the energies were whatever it is for you in your life maybe people or situation you will rise above this it's very nice to see that oh what happened to the card okay sorry about that there's a card that fell let me just go get it okay all right where you are right now you are the high priestess Okay, so yes, you're a high priest, you're a high priestess. This is about trusting your intuition. This is about you tapping within yourself. This is about intuition, insights, powerful dreams and visions are coming through. Okay, so this is a very powerful card. Dreams, visions, uh, you know, tapping in to this, trusting your intuition. It's right on target. What's crossing you is the Ace of Cups, unconditional love. Maybe some of you are returning to unconditional love with all the work that you've been doing for yourself. This could be sacred love, true love, but there's a beginning that's taking place in your life. A new beginning is taking place in your life. In the recent, uh, in the, sorry, what Spirit wants you to focus on is this Three of Pentacles. So this could talk about your career. If you are in a, a career or a, a place where you're teaching other people, uh, it's, a, it's a strong foundation. This could be a marriage or a partnership or a friendship, but it's a strong foundation here with the Three of Pentacles. In the recent past till now, uh, you had the five of pen pentacles. And this talks about where you were, maybe some of you were not um, feeling that you didn't have enough money or a lacking of something. Okay. You felt like maybe you were lacking or, you, you know, maybe it could be work or something that was not coming through and you were scared that you're not going to have enough. Okay. Some of you were le feeling left out of a situation, left in the dark, uh, but there's help there for you. But some of you wanted to do this by yourself. What is above you is the Seven of Swords energy. So this talks, the Seven of Swords talks about uh, someone trying to get away with something. Okay, uh, this could be you uh, not trying to get away with something or there's someone around you here that is, uh, which, well, information is being withheld. Okay, there's some type of information being withheld here. 
what is coming towards you is the Knight of Pentacles. This is beautiful. The Knight of Pentacles talks about a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. They're usually slow movers. This could be uh, a, 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 some type of career coming towards you, an opportunity for more money to come in. Or this is someone like a friend coming in or someone that is like uh, maybe more than a friend, okay? Maybe a relationship. This is a type of person that usually they have your back. They're very good people and they bring blessings when they come along, okay? But they take their time, okay? They're very slow in coming in. Uh, in the seventh position where you are, you have the strength, okay, Aries, you have the strength, you have the power to move forward, you have, uh, your self-esteem is good at this time, uh, I feel, and also, uh, you know, if you haven't been feeling well or, um, you know, you had an injury, you're recovering from that, and it also talks about taming something within you, okay, something that you had to tame within you and you succeeded, some of you are dealing with a Leo energy. And uh, what's the external influences? Well, the external influences and what spirit wants you to know is the shadow side. So some of you right now are going, you're, you're meeting a lot of people or you have, you're in situations where people are a lot in their shadow side, or this could also be you. Now, the shadow side of yourself is not something that you can remove because that's where your hidden gifts are, okay? It's in the shadow side. So there's some type of battling that you're going through with your shadow, like maybe releasing whatever needs to be released for it to be healed and to come into balance with the light okay with your light side this is where the yin and yang is there okay so there's some type of shadow energy here around you or this is what you're going through in the hopes and fears you've got the queen of cups this could be you uh, uh, uh in energy or as a cancer scorpio or pisces okay or this is you again very nurturing very loving also very psychic energy here all right um mm, yeah there's something i need to talk to you about on that okay and the last card is the King of Cups. So you got the King and Queen of Cups, two people that are emotionally available, okay? Uh, very compassionate, a lot of wisdom here for the King of Cups energy. Um, but with the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess, okay, so where I see is that a lot of you are in this like, High Priestess where you're very psychic, you're, you have powerful uh, you know, insights, intuition is strong, all of that is there for you, right? And so you know if something is off or not, okay? Like you have that instinct and feeling. But then there's this side of you, this gentle side of you, where you're you're more vulnerable, right? And so uh, how do you combine these two together? How do you combine the wisdom and the vulnerability together if this has to do with a relationship, okay? And a lot of you are are trying to figure this out at this time. This is what I'm, I'm picking up for someone out there. Now, I'm going to clarify the cards, okay? And I'm going to use another deck to clarify. Okay, here we go. The thing with the Queen of Cups that's a bit different than the King of Cups is that the King of Cups is offering that cup of love, right? But the Queen of Cups, she's like still holding the cup near her. She's not here giving it to you like this. Here's my Queen of Cups. It's like some of you are scared to open or be vulnerable is what I'm picking up for some of you, okay? As well. So there is something that's solid here, whether it's a business or it's some type of relationship that you're dealing with. So let's... Okay, so let's clarify the cards. Let's look at why the High Priestess is here for you. You got, you got the Ace of Wands, the Ace of... Huh. The Ace of Swords. You got the Eight of Cups and Temperance Reverse. Okay, Aries. Some of you are, are going to want to walk away from something and uh, because maybe uh, you feel that it doesn't serve you any longer or you're not getting what you want from the situation. But what I'm picking up very strongly here with the temperance reversed and the eight of cups, okay, is that some of you are not being patient. I know, <laughs> Aries. I know a lot of you have been working on your patience, but uh, there's something that you want to walk away from, but you're not, it's something maybe that's off balance, okay? There's something that's off balance with this situation at hand. It could be a relationship, a friendship, whatever it is. A, there's something that you, you feel like, but I don't feel that you are uh, really 
seeing the situation for what it is with the eight of cups and temperance reversed okay maybe some of you are dealing with a sagittarius leo energy here uh this is about balancing your life okay there's something that needs to be balanced but i also believe that the someone you're not thinking clearly okay and 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 uh you're making a judgment too quickly and there's something that you need to look there's something that you need to why are you walking away okay why are you not having patience for this individual what is it that's triggering you okay and i believe it, it's a lot to do with your shadow side so before you walk away about the situation i want you to really think about it okay because what you got here is that there's passion reunited okay meaning you got the high priestess trusting your intuition right you have visions you have this you have that you got the ace of wands energy new opportunity a new journey is beginning this is passion within yourself passion within maybe some of you are wanting to do maybe you're a psychic and you want to start your own channel you know or um, you know, and, and uh, but passion is started here. There's something passionate that's coming out. This is you, maybe yourself, and how you've been working on yourself, or this partnership, or whatever it is that's for you. And you got the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is coming in. Is I like your intuition, your in give your gifts around this time are gonna start enhancing. And this is what talks to me about the Ace of Swords energy is that there's, uh, uh, the Ace of Swords talks about an energy where. The divine is coming in to show you, to show you, okay, things that you did not see before. You're going to get clarity. Your crown chakra also will be, your crown chakra, okay, will be uh, also like in a way like healed at this time where you're going to get all this information, a lot of great ideas and a lot of new opportunities are going to take place in your life. So before, before <clears throat> you walk away from whatever situation this is for you, I want you to think about it twice, okay? Very important. Okay, now let's look at what's crossing you. It's the Ace of Cups. This is a beginning of a relationship. This could be you feeling overwhelmed with so much love in your heart, unconditional love. But this is a sacred union and some type of new beginning taking place for you. Okay, so uh, this could be also love of oneself as well. But it, like what I see here is well, I feel that there is someone coming in for you, Aries. Okay, uh, new relationship. Okay, you got the Hangman. You got the wheel you got the seven of wands again so you got the seven of wands twice and the world card so wow this is beautiful to see so you're in the loop of a situation there's a need to surrender you're seeing everything in the way that you want to see it okay with the hangman you're seeing everything okay and you are in the loop of a situation um what i'm also speaking up is there's a sense of you're sacrificing a lot at this time or uh, you are surrendering to what is. And with the wheel of fortune here, it tells me, okay, there's a second chance taking place for you. This could also mean luck, destiny, fate is coming towards you. The wheel is turning in your favor. Okay, so this is very beautiful. Luck, destiny, and the wheel turning in your favor. It's also talking about where a lot of you have uh, your yin and yang, you're, like you're coming into balance within yourself. And again, you got the seven of wands twice. I'm going to show you twice. So this is number 77 here. And this talks about you're rising above the situation. Okay, you're ri rising above the situation. You've been meditating. You've been uh, doing yoga. Whatever it is, you are in your own bubble. Okay, and whatever that's the interferences on the outside, you some of you are not, go you're not like, you're not uh, getting filtered through like there's nothing filtering through okay and you're rising above there's a completion and you got the world card so these are like the world card talks about like completion uh, achievements abundance coming towards your joy this is about learning all your past experiences and there is a completion that you are going through so this is beautiful to see that but like i said before you walk away think about it okay think about it before you walk away, because I feel here, some of you are wanting to walk away from a situation that's very difficult, that it triggers you a lot, and I'm, sh I'm, I'm being shown that you are not supposed to be walking away from this, okay? Unless it's in a, you're in a situation that you're like in a situation where it's very abusive, then you know, okay, walk away. But this is something different that I'm seeing here, okay? Trust your intuition; you're right on target. I'm gonna take out one more card just for you, okay? For the eight of eight, the eight of cups and the temperance reversed. The five of cups some of you are releasing around this time okay so there's a lot of heartache maybe releasing things that don't serve you you're looking at things that are negative and you're not looking at the positive of everything or the 
bigger picture here because there's a silver silver lining in the situation and knowing that hap everything happens for a reason okay so there's a lot of releasing that's taking place at this time for you so one more card for the five of cups temperance reverse and it's giving me okay you have the seven of cups okay this is about dreaming big you have big dreams here okay and some of you are wanting to walk away from a situation here but with the temperance reverse is showing me that it's going to be an irrational decision that you're going to be making because you're feeling a lot okay at this time everybody everybody on the collective is being um is being triggered or is releasing okay and sometimes we make fast decisions that means you're not trusting your intuition because your intuition is right on target right because what i'm seeing here yeah there is a big sacrifice and you need to surrender uh there's a surrendering that needs to take place because when you surrender when you're going to surrender okay whatever it is meaning surrender to you there's the wheel of fortune you're rising above the situation and there's the world card so let's look at the three of pentacles oh boy wait a second <clears throat> let's look at the three of pentacles you got the ten of cups energy beautiful You got the four of pentacles the tower justice and the ten of swords there's an ending taking place okay you got two tens on the ground this is a relationship for some of you there's a beginning of a relationship here or some, some of you are married here and you have a great relationship you're with your soulmate you're content there's happiness here of course emotions are never straight right it's an up and down roller coaster right but which the Ten of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, it shows me some of you, if you are married, yes, you're going through like maybe emotions, but it's solid. For others of you, there's a new relationship. For those of you that are single, there's a relationship that's coming in and it is solid, okay? Uh, but some of you are clinging on to something. You're clinging on too much to something. You're not letting it flow. There's like a need to let it flow. And with the Tower card, yes, there's unexpected change that's taking place in your life. So some type of unexpected change, okay? Change is coming in, the divine is coming in, <clears throat> sorry the divine is coming into clear right and justice is on your side which is perfect it means things will be in balance in september or october of 2020 or it's already some of you are feeling this where you know rulings will be made in your favor where everyone that's around will be treated fairly and being in your truth and integrity and you're releasing a lot of negative thoughts okay you some of you already been releasing or you're releasing it and there's a new beginning taking place for you with the 10. <clears throat> Now let's look at the five of pentacles. You got the three of pen, uh, the, the wait, the three of wands, the queen of wands, <clears throat> and the seven of swords. Okay, and the ten of wands reversed. So something has been removed. That's like you're feeling like you you, you could relax. Okay, there's something that's been removed. Maybe uh, what's been removed is uh, some of you maybe were having money problems. There was a situation with money okay that was taking place here that's been removed from you and um with the two with the three of wands is that you're looking into the future with optimism and faith knowing that your ships are coming in whatever it is that you've been dreaming about is coming in because you feel it and here you are as the queen of wands energy aries okay whether male, male or female you're rising above the situation because i'm seeing that with the seven of wands energy with the completion card okay this is a strong feminine energy very spontaneous very loving very generous very truthful very like you know outgoing and uh it's also owning your own power within owning your own magic within okay and again i got the seven of swords twice here for you so what i see here is that or you aries are trying to get away with something okay or you're withholding information or someone's withholding information from you so we're going to take out one more card here for the seven of swords now we're going to look at the seven of swords that's above you because it's the same card so let's look at the seven of swords here okay what is it what is what is it is it you or is it someone else okay too many cards fell okay too many cards let's uh you got the knight of wands energy the six of wands energy and the star card okay so there's an energy around you okay now this could be your energy that you're coming in out of some some situation or there's someone that's around you that's coming in and out of your life uh this talks about someone that's very spontaneous very adventurous but it also talks about someone that's being very restless uh, restless so maybe you're feeling restless at this time uh there's some type of restlessness okay and whatever the situation is this victory here 
there's some type of victory that's taking place for your life and you have the aquarius uh around the golden age okay a lot of people call it the age of the aquarius or the golden age there's a healing and a blessing if this is about you having faith and optimism about something there's something that's being restored within you is what i feel okay um now and a healing and a blessing i'm just going to take out one more card for the six, seven of swords what is the seven of swords about what is the seven of swords there's some type of breakup here okay so something is taking place where your heart is something about a break or some type of breakup that's taking place okay uh maybe uh cheating now this is not going to be for everybody okay aries like just like if you have a solid relationship do not think that your husband or wife or girlfriend or boyfriend is cheating on you some of you this has been on your mind for a long time it's not something recent okay um but someone's trying to get away with something is it someone that you know okay that's around you where uh they're hiding something um this is something that's going to take you by surprise okay i don't know let me just go deeper into that okay so let's look at the seven well you you see you know with the queen of swords energy you've been seeing the signs you've been seeing the signs okay You've been seeing the signs. Maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini here. Um, this is someone that has a lot of knowledge. Okay, a lot of wisdom here. The king and the queen of swords. Maybe both of you are doing the same thing. I don't know. Uh, you know, where you're looking at each other, thinking that both of you are doing something. But I do sense that there is something here. Because with the seven of... Uh, the seven... This is, could be a couple. Um, with the seven of swords and the three of swords... Okay, energy usually talks about some type of heartbreak okay so someone is trying to get away with something maybe you find out or it's vice versa okay uh heartbreak cheating uh yeah some type of uh withheld information is being told is 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 here okay that maybe this is information that you do not know uh but i see here that uh a lot both let's say um Aries, uh, I don't know who this message is for, okay? But uh, what they're telling me is that uh, for some of you that are in a relationship or in a marriage, okay? Um, a lot of you are not in the heart space in your marriage, okay? If this has to do with a marriage or a relationship, you guys, you, both you and let's say the person that you're with are with the mind. You use your, you, it's everything is with the mind. Something with the mind, okay? Where you're not using your heart chakra is what they're telling me. But both of you like are like are not sh like you're both thinking that of each other. I don't know who this message is it is for. Okay, so let's look at a bit more deeply with the seven of swords and the three of swords with the queen of swords and the queen. Look how many swords. Okay, there's a lot of sword energy here, air energy. Okay, let's look at this. Why is the seven of swords here with the three of swords energy? Yeah, you're at crossroads with the situation here. Okay, there's some type of crossroads. Now, we've got the six of wands here. Let me just put these aside for a second. So there is a healing and a blessing. And something will be successful. Okay, something will be successful here. Maybe an arrangement. So a lot of you are at crossroads. Okay, stagnation. Maybe in within a relationship. Uh, this is something that you have to make a decision on Aries and really remove the veil off your eyes. Like some of you don't want to see that. You think that some of you think that you have a perfect uh, relationship or a perfect marriage. I don't know who this message is for, but someone very clearly that needs to hear this message. Okay, you need to remove the, the veil from your eyes and really see for the situation for what it is. And there is a, a crossroad here. You're at crossroads right now. Okay, um, you got again the ace of cups energy twice you got the ace of cups twice okay this is divine love it's you maybe finding out something and forgiving the person you're with with unconditional love that could be also for some of you especially if this has to do with a couple that someone found out something okay or this is an, a relationship that's here that's very sacred and true and uh at this moment some of you are not seeing things clearly you're not seeing things clearly okay there's there's no uh, communication in the way. The communication is not there in the way that you want it to be. But what I see here is that there is messages coming in for you from the divine. You're getting messages. You're getting signs. Some of you do not want to see the signs. 
and there is a new beginning that is being uh, guided towards you. But will you take this new beginning, right? So now uh, let's look at the Knight of Pentacles here that's coming towards you. You got the Eight of Swords energy. The Five of Swords reversed. Look how many sword energy and the Two of Cups. You're feeling stuck. Some of you are feeling stuck, but this is also mentally that you're feeling stuck because you're overanalyzing. You see the girl here? She's looking in the mirror and she looks like she's stuck, right? But in, in reality, she's not stuck. It's just her thoughts. Maybe you have to release those thoughts. And some of you are uh, right now going through that process of releasing your thoughts with the Five of Swords reversed, okay? There's some type of releasing that's taking place here, right? And uh, with the Two of Cups energy, there is a relationship here that's starting, okay? The start of a new relationship or two people coming in together. Let's look at the Strength card. You got the Queen of Cups. You got her twice, the Queen of Cups energy. Okay, so very psychic here, very loving, very nurturing. This could be you or you're dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay, this is the card that fell out. I got also... Wait a second. More cards came out here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So you have the strength and the courage to move forward here. Something that you tamed in within you, okay? Having the confidence in yourself. There's some type of judgment that took place, okay? This is also uh, self-realization, what you've been going through, uh, understanding whatever took place. Uh, a lot of you, it was. it's also redemption. But this could also mean that something is coming to you that's faded, okay? It's faded. It's uh, And it's, it's, it's faded. It's coming towards you. What I have here is the King of Wands reversed. Like I have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands reversed. Okay, this is something that's uh, the spar. A lot of you are, are going through something right now. And it's very difficult for you because a lot of you are realizing something. Maybe something happened in your business, in your, uh, in your love life, or in a family situation. Or whatever it is that the situation is, is that it brought you down. It brought you humbled. It humbled you down. Something about humbling you down, okay? And uh, like I said, you were feeling left out of a situation. Something that brought you down, that you were feeling left out of a situation. This could be also money. But look again, I got the Nine of Pentacles twice in the reading, okay? There is someone coming in. They're taking their time, but they're coming in, okay? They're coming in. They're taking their time. Uh, they usually bring blessings with you, with them, okay? Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Now, let's look at the shadow side of the external influences here. This is like people's situations around you that are making it very hard for you, but you are rising above the situation. You're not getting into this fear mode, okay? Uh, so let's look at the shadow side here for you. You got the Eight of Pentacles. You got the Six of Cups. The Nine of Wands energy. So there's something that you've been working on, Aries, in detail. And you work at any time to work. Some of you are you, you are psychics here that are coming and confirm this. You're conf this is a confirmation reading for you. Where you're trying everything. A lot of you are using the moon phases to, or just like herbs and... Um, just different things, you know, uh, books you, you're reading about. But there's something that you want to give up on. And this has to do with something from your past, okay? Someone from your past, all of you are having nostalgic memories now. This could be a, a, past, a soulmate over here. And with the Nine of Wands energy, it feels that uh, you are so frustrated at this time, okay? There's a lot of frustration around you. You're seeing the signs. You're still moving ahead. But there's also some type of blockage as well, okay? Like standing in your own way or something is standing in your way. So let's look at, let's take another card for the Nine of Wands energy with the Six of Cups energy, the Eight of Pentacles and the Shadow side. Let's take another card for that. You got the Page of Pentacles. There's a start here. With the Page of Pentacles, this is a beginning of 
some type of stability or it's a course you're going to be taking or there's some type of money that's coming in but something is coming in with the page of pentacles that there's a new beginning that's taking place here where there is some type of stability okay a beginning sense of some type of stability There's a death and rebirth, okay? So there's an ending of a situation that's taking place in your life. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Scorpio energy. There's an ending. Ending of a, maybe of a, a relationship for some of you. Ending of a career. Uh, you're going through something else. There's a transition you're going through. A huge transformation that's taking place here for you. Uh, death and rebirth, of course. A death and rebirth that's taking place in your life. And you're leaving your old self behind and you're becoming this new energy, okay? It's about also removing people that are toxic and people that are not good. But there is profound changes that are taking place. Maybe some of you, this is going to happen September, October, November of 2020. Or like I said, some of you are feeling this now. Or there's a Scorpio that's involved, okay? I don't think the Scorpio has Scorpio sun. I think the Scorpio, if the, the person that you're dealing with has does have Scorpio in their chart. And I think that they have, or it's you having Scorpio moon in your chart, Aries, or that person has Scorpio sun, uh, moon in their chart, okay? This is what I'm picking up. One more card for that. So there could be an ending here or some type of death and rebirth that are take, that's taking place. Okay, yes. Okay, you need, okay, some of you are feeling isolated at this time. You're feeling alone. There's a lot of loneliness, okay? Maybe this is taking place in the Virgo month. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. This could also mean that some of you are supposed to go within and follow your own path, okay? And really start meditating because I'm picking up meditation is important here. And whatever it is that, uh, if this is an individual that's coming into your life or was in your life, they're not giving you the stability in which that you want, okay? It doesn't have to be a Virgo. It could be any sign. And uh, with the Four of Wands energy, I feel that there's celebration that's going to take place for you. So there is some type of celebration that will take place for you in your home, okay? Maybe a birthday, an event, or something like that that's going to take place. I'm going to ask the overall energy for you, Aries. Yeah, freedom. So Saturn, Capricorn energy, okay? There's some type of freedom here. It's releasing your fears. Some of you releasing your fears. A lot of unusual dreams you will be getting. This talks about where there's also some type of divorce. Yes, there could be a divorce here as well. Uh, like an ending taking and a new beginning taking place in your life. That could be as well too. And it doesn't have to be now, okay? This could be later. But I do see that there is some type of freedom releasing uh, someone that's toxic, uh, releasing addictions, uh, whatever it is. And look at that. This is what I wanted to know. And this is why I always go digging in my readings. And that's why my readings are long. It's because I go digging in it because I want to give you answer because I can't give you personal readings at this time. So this is why I give you like a personal reading here, okay? You got the devil reversed with the sun card. So this talks about victory, okay? Uh, this talks about victory. This talks about um, all the happy vibes joy happiness uh laughter anything that makes you feel good okay and the universe is agreeing on your path and they're going to bring you so much blessings so much abundance that that you do not like you you will never expect that something that you never dreamt of okay this is what this card is about now let's look at the queen of cups energy in the hopes and fears You got the elephant. You got the page of cups energy. And you got the six of pentacles reversed. Okay, there's a lesson here with the elephant. You're taking, and this also talks, this, this talks about a, a lesson, okay, or some type of tradition, or you're, you're talking to someone that's traditional. Uh, Aries, or this could talk about, like I said, a lesson that's taking place in your life, and it's, it's service to spirit, and a new paradigm is happening for you, like you feel the completion, and there is a new paradigm that you're feeling, um, some of you are walking your own step, you're doing your own thing, okay, you're not following anything, and something that is off balance here, 
okay? There's something that's off balance. Maybe you're giving too much of your power or energy away, or you're giving too much of something of work and you're not receiving. But there is some type of an emotional experience that took place for you. Now, something is off balance, okay? There is something off balance. So let's look at the Six of Pentacles reversed here. Why is, uh, is the Six of Pentacles reversed? I really want to know this, why it's reversed. Okay, uh, you're dealing with a King of Cups, actually, that's reversed here, okay? But the King of Cups in your final comes in upright, and he's reversed here, okay? So if there's someone that is not emotionally available. They're very moody at this time, maybe. They're not doing well, okay? And uh, what I see here is that with the Nine of Pentacles is that uh, there's a sense of this... It's like some of you are trying to figure out about this person, whoever this person is in your life, whoever this situation is, where Spirit is saying that you need to take care of yourself, okay? It's about you now. It's about you being independent. It's about you, um, maybe they're trying to be independent, okay? Maybe they're trying to get, uh, you know, uh, be independent and take care of themselves. But this could also about talk about you doing this, okay? And there's a sense like of, uh, of really, yeah, you see, because they're coming in as a knight, okay? So... Maybe they were coming in as a knight when they, if this is a, like a person that you know, a knight and a king is two different things, right? They're coming in, they're going to come back as a king, but they're, they were coming in as a knight. That's why the king of pentacles was reversed with the six of pentacles, because whatever, if this is a relationship or business, they were not in their element at this time, and they were not able to give. They were not able to give because they have to give to, them, to themselves first. So they were coming in as a knight, uh, like they wanted to romance and, you know, show you love. So that's why maybe things were off balance, okay? Now let's look at this King of Cups energy. You got the lovers, Gemini energy here. So this is a very magnetic attraction here. Uh, this is a twin flame. Uh, this is a twin flame. Um, a twin flame. This is a twin flame um, reading because usually my lover's card is a twin flame. This could be a twin flame, a soulmate, a lover, a friend. Okay, uh, this is harmony, balance, the yin and yang coming together, a strong magnetic attraction here, okay? Uh, and uh, there, it, some of you are on break right now, okay? There's some type of break or there's a, 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 a need to rest, a time a timeout is taking place for some of you. And uh, what's taking place with the Seven of Pentacles, I got 777 on the ground, which the 777 talks, well, 777 is very lucky, but uh, or you or the person is reevaluating the whole situation, okay? Like reevaluating everything and seeing how far they come. Um, at this moment, this person is not coming in to give you the message that you want, but it's here in the future, okay? In the near future. Uh, but at, at this moment, they're not coming in to give you the message that you want, okay? Even though that they're, they're seeing all the signs, everything is there. Uh, they're not coming in to give you that message that you are looking for. So let's take another card for the overall. Okay, you got the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, very successful. Uh, I think what they're doing is uh, this individual, whoever this person is in your life, they're working hard. Okay, they're, whether they're a king or queen, it doesn't matter. They're thinking about their finances. Uh, they want to be successful. They want to be reliable. I feel that they want to be in nature also. I feel that they want to be in nature. Because look at the green. Look how, how much green there is in the, in, in the behind, okay? It's about like uh, being victorious here. Or maybe this is you. Uh, you're 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 gonna concentrate on your finances now, and you're not. You probably are not gonna be the one to give the message, and maybe you're taking a break, right? It's vice versa, depending. Okay, let's see. One more card overall. You have all the elements. You're the magician. You have everything to get what you want. You have all the elements here to get manifest anything that you want okay so keep thinking positive now let's look at the seven of swords energy uh, seven of wands energy here you got the three of cups energy the nine of swords energy i also i also feel that there's another person involved maybe that's like you know if there's someone that's married here and there's something that's going on and maybe a divorce will take place uh, there's another, in, I feel that there's interference, okay? Now, this, not with all of you, but you'll know who this message of, is for, okay? Um, yeah, I feel that there's another person, but whatever it is, if this is another person that's involved in interference, you're going to rise above the situation. A lot of you are not able to sleep right now, okay? You're not able to sleep. There's a lot of, like, uh, energies, or this could also be just, like, you're worried about the situation, but like I said, uh, you're going to have the courage and the strength and the self-confidence. And there's something that you have tamed inside of yourself and that you are 
really re ready to take the, the stand like you're a natural healer as well here a lot of you and it's maybe you're dealing with leo this is happening in the month of august okay there's something something took place here where something got revealed to you or will be revealed to you okay doesn't mean some of you are going to be revealed but there is completion right so like i said like i feel that i feel that there's interference whether this is a business appropriate if this is business if this is a a, a, a a relationship a marriage or something but there is some type of interference that's taking place and underneath the deck i got the two of pentacles so you are being pulled someone is be or it's you aries or someone's being pulled in two different directions one minute they're here one minute they're out one minute they're here one minute they're out whatever the case is okay it's going to be victorious okay uh look at the bigger picture you need to look at the bigger picture is what i'm being told here you need to look at the bigger picture of the situation and uh someone has to drop something okay or it's you or them because right now you're being pulled in two different directions or they're being pulled in two different directions and it's uh there's, there's a need to ground themselves or ground yourself i hope you enjoyed your reading for those of you that are not staying for the oracle cards please don't forget to like share and comment thank you for being here aries know that i love you and i have your back and for those of you that are staying, I'll be back in two seconds for your Oracle readings. I'm back, Aries. Okay, let's get your Animal Totem card. Okay, let's see what uh, your Animal Totem is from September. Uh, what did I say September? August 29th to September 6th. So what's your Animal Totem? Okay, that was quick. Let's look at, you got the snake. Here you go, you got the snake energy. So the snake is a symbol of our highest potential. It is said that Shaki, our creative life force, lies dormant at the base of our spine in the form of a, co uh, of a coiled snake. Regardless of whether this image rings true for you, it's well worth considering the amount of unawakened or untapped potential within. What would life look like if you w wake it up and how can you steer it from slumber? An experienced yoga or meditation teacher can lead the way, make haste, the snake card appears when there is no more time to waste. So when you're in balance, Aries, you are pro prosperous, uh, prosperous, creative. When you're out of balance, you start and stop many things and to bring it to balance, it's a kundalini yoga or some type of meditation. Look at the flower of life. Very beautiful. Okay, so to bring something into balance is yoga, kundalini yoga or meditation. So this is, the snake is with you for this week. Now let's look at the sacred geometry. Oh, I hurt my hand today. Well, my finger something fell on it so it's a bit swollen but uh, it's okay i can't knock the cards like i normally do <laughs> okay here you go you got number 29 29 29 so you got expression i live a healthy happy and carefree existence by allowing myself to self-express my needs wants and desires 741 Hertz is here to remind you that we all have the right to express truly what we want to say or do. When, when we choose not to voice ourselves the way we are meant to, we are not being true to ourselves. Human nature is very complex and rather than allowing us to just pursue everything that we want in life, it makes us work for it. Even though there are many ways to, for us to get from A to B, one of the biggest lessons we learn in this lifetime is to voice what, is it, what it is we want and how we choose to get here. There. Okay, so now the practical application of this card is when four, 741 Hertz is, is, is shown to you, it is saying it's time to express what you want for yourself. Fear and lack of courage or even embarrassment can slow, you, uh, slow us down. It is time that we need to overcome to create a result of balance and stability in our life and to find the solutions necessary to reach our goals. The other use of the stone is to work as a cleanser of toxins from a cellular level. By frequently using the stone, we can help create a healthier lifestyle for ourselves. And as our resonance changes, we choose to eat and maintain healthier um, lifestyles. In a quiet space, focus on the sound, which is uh, soul, 
and on the intention of what you want to release to allow you the freedom of self-expression and to create for yourself a healthier and happier existence. Work with the color blue when using this frequency and the card numerology is a three and the crystals that you want to use when you uh, put, so you go on YouTube, right? And you put 741 Hertz and you're going to have many, many uh, meditations. You can even sleep with it. It also works. And the crystals that they want you to get is a rose quartz, snowflake obsidian, and blue lace agate. Again, rose quartz, snowflake obsidian, and a blue lace agate. Okay, and uh, 741 energy. You can use that for as long as you want. Now, uh, let's look at the crystal for you. This is for Aries. Crystal of your week. Okay. You got phantom quartz. Embrace change, Aries. In a period of flux, find comfort in the uncomfortable. Change is happening all around you, so make the most of it. After all, the only thing that is constant in life is change. Embrace the uncertainty and lean into the ine inevitable. There are opportunities that allow you to grow, evolve, and more move forward. It's how you move through the stations of life that make or break your journey. Instead of resisting change, allow it to propel you forward so that you can level up your life. And the questions they have for you, Aries, if you like, you need to answer within yourself is what changes are happening in your life? How are you responding to these shifts? And how would you ideally respond if you were living from your purpose? And your affirmation is, I embrace change. I embrace change. Today, confidently address an area of your life that you have been avoiding and identify something that you can do to change or accept it. So this is uh, the crystal that is going to be with you for as long as you need it. And now let's look at the activation card. So excited to bring these next two cards to you. Okay. Now, when you look at it, just put your hand on the screen. Okay. Literally put your hand on the screen, your left hand. You're going to get some type of activation that's coming through. Only if you want. All right. If you want to do it. And so I'll read you the keywords of the card. What is the card for Aries for this week? Okay, your card came in. Let's look at it. Ooh, that's a beautiful card. Wait until I show you. Give me a second. You got Divine Feminine. Here it is. This is your card, Aries. Okay, I'm going to read the, the, whatever that's at the bottom here, I'm going to read it. It's in the book, okay? So this is your card. The frequency of divine, fem fa divine feminine supports our receptive, nurturing, and soft side, allowing it to express itself openly and helping us to connect to our intrinsic understanding of our connection to all creation. Okay, three-dimensional reality is based on the duality between opposites and their eternal movement toward union. Everything is created in pairs, male, female, matter, spirit, empty, full, dark, light, and so on. Without the tension caused by the magnetic push and pull of the duels, there would be no movement. And without movement, there would be no life as we know it. When the push and pull of opposites is equal, a state of balance is achieved. For humans to live harmoniously with each other, the masculine, the masculine and the feminine have to reach a state of union, both outward in relationship with each other as well as inward, in a balanced state of heart and mind and soul. The masculine and feminine attributes inside all of us have to be fully realized, understood and expressed. Now that we are moving into new energy, the enhanced qualities of these two opposites in human nature are emerging and urging us to let go of the roles we have traditionally assigned in the past, allowing a new masculinity and a new femininity to arise. The divine feminine is fluid and receptive. It surrenders and opens and is able to easily give way and pull towards galaxies of emptiness and higher consciousness when facilitated by true divine masculinity. The femininity is in tree in intrinsically connected to the higher realms and mother earth giving birth to life ideas expressions and dreams the color pink is associated with the universal love for oneself and others with sweetness and with 
tenderness, and care. All attributes that are associated with feminine qualities. Brighter pinks bring in an aspect of aliveness, excitement, high energy, and power. There are various elements of the flower of life visible as reference to the three-dimensional reality we are creating here on Earth. The light blue refers to our ability to express ourselves with honesty, tenderness, and kindness. The four stars in the corners refer to our form-based reality. The water in the background is a representative of emotional plane, the realm mostly associated with uh, feminine. So they want you to try this, okay? So if you're home, and only if you're home, okay, or sitting down, uh, close your eyes and go inside yourself. So close your eyes and go inside yourself. The feminine nature is to love, nurture, and guide through intuition. Are you allowing this? Are you loving toward others? How about toward yourself? Do you express your femi femininity without holding back? Take some time tonight to do something loving and special for yourself to spark your femininity. So this is your card. Okay, beautiful card. And now the next card I have for you, which I really love this deck. It's called Beyond Lumeria. Okay. Let me just shuffle the cards. Really love these cards, Aries. I want to share them with you, right? Beautiful oracle cards. Okay, let's see what's going on here. for Aries from August 29 to September 6. So you got number eight. And you got the third eye chakra. Look how beautiful this card is. That's your card. And uh, this is a pineal, pineal perspective. The key words are the seed of wisdom and consciousness, intuition, imagination, seeing inner and outer worlds, limitlessness and understanding. Connect with your third eye and transcend what you understand with your mind. Discover a deeper inner knowing through the interconnected web of all that is and has been. You can tune into this wisdom at will and as and when you wish to. This wisdom is an ancient yet pioneering. It is the creator of the free will we choose to weave from moment to moment. Be the absor absorbent, observant witness. Allow the transcendence of duality without judgment. Be mindful. Listen and allow your unfurling intuition to unravel the paradoxes of reality. So they want you to restore. Examine limiting ideas. Listen more. Balance the left hem hemisphere's logical and analytical thinking with inner guidance and deeper wisdom. Take note of any thought patterns that may be holding you from your fullest potential through the mind-based fear of past experiences. And the theme is enhancing your imagination or intuition, seeing beyond illusion. And the healing position is between the eyebrows. And the color that you should wear with this is deep in the gold blue. So this is what is happening for you. I hope that you enjoyed your reading, my beautiful areas. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. I have your back, and I love you. And I'll see you next week. Bye.